the architects of modern times was very arrogant. But to be humble is not so easy for us. It is a kind of dilemma of our profession. But it will be, probably it will be a very slow process, it will be not an easy process, but we try to walk slowly, step by step, to achieve that kind of humbleness. Whenever I start the project, as I myself walk along the site and uh, I try to feel the reality of the place. If the, I touch the ground by my own foot and I touch the trees by my hand, I could feel the reality of the place. That is my method. And that is a starting point of the conversation with the place. The design philosophy behind the Kengo Command Associate is to create human, warm, natural space. So for achieving that as a goal, we try to use natural material as possible and try to merge architecture and nature as possible as can. We started as a Kengo Command Associate in 1986, but after 1991, suddenly the Japanese economy is gone, and then in that 10 years, we decided to leave Tokyo. Our main field was basically the countryside of Japan, and in those the project, we did work with local craftsmen and with local material. In that 10 years, the project was very, very small, but for us, was the most fruitful period. And after 2000, could go to the next step. We uh, transferred our wisdom, which we learned from the local craftsmen, it could be adapted to the bigger projects and the different contexts. Time, space, and existence is a definition of three things uh, slowly changing from the architecture as monument to architecture as environment, so from 20th century to 21st century, from industrialization to post-industrialization. So we cannot control time, the so time is always flowing. And so our architecture also should be part of that kind of flow. I don't know what happened after so we passed away, after the, the office disappeared. Only thing that we can do is merge our building into time. The perfect relationship between time and architecture is become one totality. And if so we could achieve that kind of totality, the existence will disappear. One of my role models is the Buddhism priest. The priest often travel to different places and they speak to the people, the honesty, and through those communication with the local people, they can achieve something with the, the people. And as a, I don't want to stop my trip. I as a, as a want to the continue traveling, and I want to continue speaking with people as a, forever.